Okay, so you can now go here. Into the next area, which, as the name of the key said, is the depths. And that will lead us then to Blight Town. Which is one of the worst areas in this entire game. It's terrible. And in Black Town we'll fight uh, another boss and we'll have the um we'll ring the other bell of awakening. So the way to the depths is through here. But we're not going to go there yet. There's an item that we can go and get that'll make our life in the in Black Town a lot easier. And we're going to go get it. Okay, there's a merchant here. So this merchant sells moss. Moss are um, pretty good items to have. This one reduces bleeding buildup, so it'll get rid of that uh, buildup meter of bleeding. This does the same for poison and cures poison too if you're poisoned. This one cures um, does the same but with poison and toxin. Toxin is a stronger version of poison. Uh, there's some poison throwing knives, dung pie, which uses toxic on every enemy but also on yourself I think this version of toxic isn't as bad as um, other ones that you can get so it might be a decent strategy sometime, sometimes sometimes I, I don't know if it's true or not I I read this somewhere that uh, if you're facing enemies with strong toxic you should use this to toxic yourself because it's not as bad as their version of toxic I'm not sure if that's true though um, luring skulls, then we have charcoal pine resins, it's the same type as the other resins that we have that give um, lightning damage, but this one applies fire damage. Transient curse, this is to be, um, this makes you able to kill ghosts, there's only one area in the game where you will need this, so anyone will even need that much. Rotten pine resin adds poison to your right hand weapon. Homeward Bones, Prism Stones, Path Markers. You can uh, drop these and they'll make a little light where you drop them. I don't know, to mark a path or something. Humanity and Purging Stones to reduce curse. And you have a couple of arrows here and bolts. Okay, got all of the dialogue. So if we go this way... We'll actually open the shortcuts back to Firelink Shrine. And to the right is the Undead Burg. We're actually going here. I'm going to see if I can defeat an enemy that I mentioned earlier in the series. I think I'm powerful enough to do it without uh, wasting too much time. Oh, 
Oh, and there, there's actually an item I forgot to get. Pretty sure I didn't get it. Um, take out the sniper. Let's see, the enemies there are clear. No, they're not. Oh yeah, I just ran past everyone in the last Capra Demon attempt. I'm gonna go down here. sure I forgot this one. You don't really need it, but I'll just show you where it is. Gotta climb this all the way. There was a jump here that I attempted, but I don't think I could have gotten from that level, but... Wait. Didn't I come up here? Why is this still here? <laughs> String knives. Did I just jump back here? Or maybe I didn't even go down there. That's odd. Pretty sure I did. Now we can do a running jump. And up here we have light crossbow and some standard bolts. As I said, we don't really need these, but just to show you where everything is. Everything that I know of. Unless I forget, of course. So this is the bonfire that I rested at. With the Capra Demon, I'm almost out of Estes though. Well, let's risk it. It's not that far. Isn't there a third enemy? I should have definitely leveled up. Well, it's too late now. Get the sniper. Well, I think there was actually an easier way for me to go. No, we're not going to kill the Black Knight. I want some more, um, some more item, some more um, item find stats before we go there. No, we're going here. I'm going to try and kill Havel the Rock. You can only get him this early if you're, um, if you have the master key, since we opened the door. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to need the shields. Why am I? Why am I rolling? Could be a bit lighter. Okay, this 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 works. Let's do hand this and just go full heal. Let's get some humanities ready if we need to. So ease all the way down this tower. 
but I do not recommend you fight him down there, because if you die, you're gonna have to aggro him again to get your souls. No, he's down there. We're gonna fight him here, so we can recover our souls if we die. Now, he has some nasty attacks, especially an, uh, an overhead one that he can just one-shot you with and bypass your blocks. And be careful when you dodge, because he will adjust his attacks. But he's very vulnerable to backstabs. So just rinse and repeat. And be careful not to be hit. And do not overextend. You can also hit him normally, but I think backstabs are the safer way. There we go. This guy is dead, and we get Havel's Ring. So this one will. Boosts maximum equipment loads by 50%, I think. So we can now... Can I equip this and do medium roll now? Yes, we can. Let's get a sh spider shields. Did I get a knight? No, I didn't. I knew that didn't look... As it was supposed to. Okay, since our equipment load is bigger now, we can do a medium roll in this armor. I can also open this door. Uh, usually, if you don't have the master key, you would come through there. That's through Dark Root Garden. And another area called Dark Root Basin. You'll need to kill a boss in Darkroot Garden to get the key to open that door if you don't have the master key. And then you'll have to go to Darkroot Basin to open it from that side. Okay. Let's go back to Firelink Shrine. Everything is dead, so we'll have an easy time doing it. Yeah, because as I said, we're going to get an item that'll make our lives a lot easier in Blight Town. I'm, I'm glad now I didn't use the bonfire to replenish my Estus, otherwise I'd have to fight everything again. going completely gone the wrong way let's kill this rat rats can sometimes drop humanity which is quite handy We could hear the bell from here. Okay, so here is Grig of Vinheim. He's back. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. 
and pray that you never go hollow. Oh, hello. Terrific. And pray that you never... Okay, so I said Grig will sell you sorceries, but he will only do so if you meet the requirements. Um, I think it's 10 intelligence. So we do not have 10 intelligence. It doesn't sell us anything. And before I forget, because I, I'm always forgetting to do this. Let's reinforce the Estus flag, flask with the Firekeeper Soul that we got. So we now have Estus flask plus one. Um, Lot trick is not here for some reason. Maybe I need to rest first. Why? What a surprise! I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? You never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> and there are some new people here. I believe. Yeah, so... This guy's friends have appeared. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. But I'm, but I'm wearing some sweet armor. Oh, you again. What business have you? I don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. Oh, you again. Don't suppose we we Okay. Cost of the dialogue. Mm -hmm. This guy doesn't say anything. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. You are undead as well. And we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Okay, so here are the clerics. Oh, the cleric, the cleric and her knights. Let's rest over here, see if Lautrec appears to give me my rewards. And let's level up to endurance. Let's get some vitality. Let's get Endurance is 20, let's get Vitality to 20, then let's level Strength some more. Because wearing heavy armor and heavy weapons is fine and all. Where is Lautrec? I did save him, didn't I? Very weird. Okay, hold on. I have to see if everything's working properly. To the undead parish. Okay, so I came to see if Lautrec was here. He wasn't. I'm not sure what's going on, but... Uh... Oh, did, did you see that little um, white ring over here? That was over here. Yeah, I'm adding this part just to explain what that is. That is a point of resonance. That means someone has cast a miracle in this spot. That means that if, if you see one, one of those points, if you cast a miracle here, it'll be a little bit more powerful. Okay. See you in a bit. Ah, here he is, finally. Knight Lautrec. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please accept it. You got a sunlight medal. I'm grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> not enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> By the Lord, your face. 
place. <laughs> Your humanity is really slipping, but there are methods. Most fools have more humanity than they know what to do with. Now, who do you imagine will make the best use of it? Mm -hmm. You again. What is it? Our futures are murky. Let's not be too friendly now. Hmm. Our future. The exhausted, the, the exhausted dialogue. I know he can give you some tips about some characters, but can't remember what exactly triggers it. But okay. Let's go get that item that I was that I mentioned. So Petrus and his little friends are gone. So we're gonna go into this lift, but we're not going to go all the way up. We're going to leave right here. And we're going to roll onto that little over here. Oh, almost fell off. Okay, um just a quick note, if you're using DS fix uh DS fix and have um and have the FPS unlocked to 60, that roll will be very hard to do. Okay, if you roll over here you get the undead asylum. Floor 2, West Key. Which is something we'll need. Now we'll take the lift again. And do the exact the exact same thing that we did. Except this time we'll go all the way up from that little platform. all the way up the stairs and into this nest this is this is how you return to the undead asylum and we're we're going there we're going back there so you just gotta wait a few seconds and it'll trigger you only need to wait the first time you do this Here we go. 